So, you know, I never really filmed in this room, even though the lighting is perfect. All I had to do was set up my camera and a microphone out of frame, and the scene looks great, but the audio sounds terrible. But what if I told you there was a crazy way that's super easy to get rid of all this echo? And just like that, it's gone. So this effect that I'm using here is actually a plugin from FX Factory called Crumple Pop. I think it's like AI echo canceling or something to that extent. Now it is a little bit pricey. I paid a hundred bucks for the effect. It was on sale apparently from 129, but irregardless of the cost, I think it's highly worth it because of how much it changed the audio from a ton of echo in this massive room to virtually no echo whatsoever in some pretty crisp, clear sounding audio. I wanna preface this by saying that I am not sponsored by any way, they didn't pay me, I bought the own thing, I wasn't asked to make this video, I just think it's great and I wanted you to know about it. So I wanna show you really quickly how I apply this effect in Final Cut Pro, how easy it is to maneuver and edit this effect so that way, if you decide to buy it, you can use it as well. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you do want this plugin is to go to fxfactory.com slash info slash echo remover AI. So here you'll be able to see all the different programs that this actually works in. So most of the things that we're gonna be utilizing to edit audio are available here. So if you do see your chosen video editor, be sure to go ahead and hit this buy option, or you can download a free trial and just try it out for yourself first. And then once you get that downloaded and installed, you may have to install FX Factory's app first. Then you'll just wanna go into your video editor, go to wherever your effects are, and find the Crumple Pop Echo Remover AI. And then all we're gonna do is just drag and drop this effect on the clip. And like I mentioned before, most of the time, I just apply it to the clip and I'm done. But if you do want to fine tune and edit this, you'll just go into the editing menu and it has this really nice interface that makes it super easy to do. So you have the strength booster here. You have dryness, body and tone down here at the bottom. So you can make all these adjustments as you need to. So I think it's super easy to use. Again, I don't really touch anything. If I am going to edit anything and it feels like it's a little bit too strong, I might just dial the strength back a little bit. These are all the default settings and it sounds amazing straight out of the box. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you do decide to buy this, uh, congratulations to having better sounding audio in these larger spaces. But it's super easy, again, at the cost is a little bit expensive, but I think for an amazing piece of software and AI that this is, it's highly worth that cost. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, be sure to create something new today.